Hello everyone. So, we are back with this episode of Let's Play series of No Man's Land and quite a lot has happened. Partly because when I was recording my second episode, I didn't record everything. Apparently my video stopped recording middle of all of it. So, a lot to catch you guys up on here. Um, this field was being planted at the time, or maybe it wasn't, I'm not sure. We, we started planting it. We planted wheat, and now wheat is harvestable. Oh, man, a lot of time has passed. Wheat is now harvestable. So we are pretty much on that stage of things right now. So we are going to start that back up. As you see, we bought a harvester. And as you see clearly, the harvester is not uh, up everything. So that's wonderful. Because that's the edge of the map apparently. So that sucks. So we get for building right up against the edge of the map, I guess. Yep. <laughs> We're gonna have a strip at the end. Whatever. So we are harvesting. We have this tractor. We now have a TLX for what's gonna be our um, um, actual trailer. That's what we're gonna use to take our materials out of here. We bought a new uh, JCB a bigger JCB for towing bigger tractors and trailers. Also, we went and bought <clears throat> this guy right here for spraying. Well, as you guys saw this, we have all these. We bought a roller because I rolled the field. And I bought this guy. And we also, while we were at it, we mowed that field over there and collected it and made silage bales. So, while we are harvesting, one of the things I want to do is go and sell this set of silage that we have. Also you see here that I did some terraforming and land shaping with this. There we go. And we're gonna go sell this guy. Now I don't want to bring this to the shredder, that's not what I want. So we're gonna go all the way back around and we're gonna sell this to our main cell point. And then we still have the stuff that's in the silage uh, silo, worker silo. So we will uh, attempt to scoop that up. We'll probably lease a. I don't know. Do we want to try to scoop it? We're we trying to a front loader. Do we want to get? It? I'm not sure what to do yet. Okay, we're here. We're going to operate it. We're going to unload our bales. And we are going to unload our bales here. We should sell. There it goes 15 grand. Nice. There's that pile of lime I left behind. I tried to sell off some lime, so that failed. So far, no subscriber contracts, no um, subscriber suggestions, nothing of that nature, that nature, no comments of any kind, so that's totally fine. You know, because we're just doing this for fun, and we're talking to ourselves while we play. Because that's what we do when we have no one watching. Okay, that's done. Now we just need something to get this out of there. What are we looking at here? It's all ready to go, right? Yep, let's open it up. Silage is ready, so let's try to scoop that up somehow. We don't have a way to scoop with a tractor. This does have the attachments for a front loader, though. This one does not, so we could get a front loader, and we could try to scoop it and dump it into here. Or we could get a forge wagon. I think we're going to get a forage wagon. We're just going to get a really cheap one. A really cheap forage wagon. Where are you? Really cheap forage wagon. Oh my gosh, the bales. I'm having that issue that people <laughs> say is happening. When you sell things, they just appear. It's my entire thing just appeared here. Gosh, that's funny. Well, we could just buy this because you never know, we might 
and do forward wagon and stuff. I feel like we've got the money. We might as well just have it. We sold a larger one. We might as well just have this for when we feel like doing some of it. Um, that or we just lease it and then sell it and then we just do all our bailing. We could bail silage. We could bail. No, we're going to buy this. We're going to buy it because we're, we're okay with buying something we don't need. And we're going to go get it with the big tractor. Now our baler should be able to pick up this straw. Jeez, it just skips a whole section there. Jeez, too many tractors. All right. Well, you're going to go pick that up. And then we are going to attempt to scoop up the silage in there. I don't know that this machine will do that. Actually, I wish it red if it'll hold silage. It does. It does hold silage. Okay. Thank God. Because after we empty the silage bunker, we're going to take that remaining grass that you see around it, and we are going to remove the silage bunker. If that grass still stays there, we are going to try to scoop it back up with this, and we will just go sell it off, and we won't bother with it anymore, and we'll just put some sort of shed there instead, or storage. Because we don't we don't need to do a salt bunker silo anymore because we are ah, darn. I'm gonna fix this. Yeah, we're a boss. Let's go see if we can scoop up that silage. And then we have to go, because our, tra our uh, harvester is almost full, so we are going to go put that into storage until the price is high, which I don't know if the price is high for wheat right now. Price high for wheat. It says it's going up. It's at farm shops, 500. And what month are we in? We're in July. July is the lowest month, so I know we'll hold on to it until it's a higher price or until we start doing something with it. Let's get our tractor now that everything is full. Our tractor, our truck here. We have just tr uh, far up uh, destruction off. Fill me up. You know, it'll fill it up at 8,000, even though that could hold 8,500. We can at least fill this up and go dump it for the short trips we're making. This is perfectly fine. Six thousand or two thousand more to go. We are heavy. And we will unload you right here. Until we have something to do with you. Let you empty. up, turn on the loading wagon, and lower the pickups, and see what we can do. Yep, yes we can.
Come on. Come on. You can do this. You're the big tractor. Can't see in the trees. Can't see in the trees. All right, we made it. All right, so this is now full. So we will go sell that. So we got, what, we said 15,000 with that last one. What did we get off our last sale? Yeah, 15,800. So I don't know exactly how many liters that was, but this one. We're selling 1,600, 16,100 liters. So who knows, this could be an equivalent. So that means the last little bit's not going to be worth it to me. So we're just going to clear it out. We'll save this um, forage harvester for picking up um, straw if we don't want to do straw bales. Straw bales are cool and all, and we can store it um, and everything. And it's, the, it's tempting because then there'd be no reason for this forage harvester really at all. We're going to see what we can do with this space because we don't need this thing anymore. So let's go to our construction. Sell it. And there's grass in there. So we will attempt to pick it up. done picking this up and then we'll have just under 3,000 liters oh well, over 3,000 look at that 4,000 liters of grass seed here or grass grass here to sell which we can we put it in here I, I don't know I mean this says it's a grinder or whatever it is but can it be loaded in here no I think it's for bales So we will just go sell that bit of grass. It's not that important to me that I keep this and turn it into silage. <clears throat> and then I guess we could get rid of this thing because we could bale our straw and store the straw in our hayloft. Because we can't store it in this uh, state. So we could lease this thing, but okay. Guess we can't sell there. Can I sell it here? Well, I guess we're bailing it then. I could have sworn I sold grass last time with a forage wagon, especially in the first episode. But who knows? Maybe something's going on. Whatever. We will just dump this and then we will bail wrap it. 
it's not the end of the world. We will just unload right in front of the bailer. And they'll bail it. And now we own this thing, so I guess we keep it in case we need it. We just love to crash them, don't we? Hopefully it's enough to fill it. It's chaff, isn't it? It's not grass, that's probably why. That is probably why. Alright, well, yeah, we are just compacting it right now, so... Whatever. We are having the best of luck today already. Alright. switch over to this truck and let's go get our next load of wheat. Actually we are not going to get our next load of wheat just yet because this thing can still pick up more. little bit here. Oh, I missed that other one in the corner, but it's whatever. And over here. Alright, so this is another 4,000 liters, roughly. 3,500 liters that we'll get off of this field. So we got about 1,200 liters, 1,300 liters or so. field. Not much, but something. We'll likely make another field today, even though we really like the whole silage thing that we got going on. Go dump you. Once you're done, we're going to put you away, or at least out of the way, for now. Because you have no harvesting that's to be done the rest of the season. Back you in here for now. of the wheat into the silo and then we will do we I guess we bail it we're gonna do so we're gonna try something out since you are a bailing machine right now by the way, something it also missed is that we didn't use, for whatever reason, I guess maybe rolling it was a 
fertilizer state and also a weeded state. I'm not sure what happened, but I didn't end up actually needing to use my herbicide last time around. Um, I bought herbicide, bought this big ass sprayer, and then never used it. I got it all set up ready, expecting there to be weeds, and then the weeds never came. Alright, so here we go. I thought about wind rowing this, but before we go wind rowing it, let's try how straw works. Does pick up straw. Okay, so it thinks I'm picking up straw now, even though before I wasn't. I was picking up grass, and I had leftover grass in there, so I guess it's just converted over to straw. That's kind of weird. Fast Baylor has a weird consistency for that. Alright, so, whatever. So, let us see what you convert into. I don't need it to be wrapped. Picking up straw. Yeah, I just made a straw bale. Cool. Very good. So it doesn't need to. Cool beans. Alright, well, that's nice. But we're going to do what a real farmer would do he'd get his wind rower out. Even though these are decent wind rows. We're going to make them even better when rows. Ah! All right, we will check back in with you once we are done wind rowing. Okay, we're back. Now we're going to do some bailing and see how this works out. Oops. Now we've wind rowed. As you can tell, I'm not the greatest at wind rowing. How am I really at driving these tractors, apparently? Eh, we're not perfect, but we're going to plow it all into this area anyways. And we're just going to make some straw bales. And we don't need forage harvester. If we had the forest harvester, we probably could get one of these new things that takes, uh, it does like, essentially what a wind rower does, but from the front, and then you can, um, uh, then put a forage harvester or a baler right in the back. Thought about using that, but I like doing two things, two jobs. It's not bad. I'm going to finish up. And then, I don't know that we're going to sell this straw right now. I, I mean, I'm going through the trouble of bailing it to then have it shredded. So that I could then maybe sell it later on. Or use it in a farm for pigs or whoever else uses straw. So, don't know that we need the hayloft right now. Depends on what I'm going to do with these. The hayloft could also hold grass bales, but I'm not doing grass bales. I'm just... It, the hayloft is, is really only going to be holding straw bales. And even then, like I said, it doesn't output straw bales. It outputs straw into a bucket, into a tipper. Straw doesn't sell for a lot either. So I don't know. I mean, I, I got this hayloft thing, and I think using it's pretty cool, but when are you ever going to need to store straw is my question. Unless you have plans to use it, and I don't at this point. I, the only... I guess I would just hold on to it in case I need it, but I could just sell it to make some profit. 
even if it's just minuscule profit, you know, a few thousand bucks. I guess. I don't know. I really don't know. We're not going to even have all that much. We'll see. Fill it up. Hopefully we can get to the full bail with what remains in the field because I don't like holding on to this stuff. I don't have to. Yeah, we're going to have to hold on to an almost full bail, aren't we? I'm not going to get 500 liters out of these last couple drops. There's no way. Couldn't even pick that one up. And there's not 500 down here either. Maybe another 100. Yep, not, not enough. Oh well. So we'll just hold on to you. Okay. Now we will get our trailer. Our auto load trailer. We'll pick them all up. Pop. Pop, pop. 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 I don't know if it's worth selling until we have a lot. And I don't want to leave this on the trailer. So, we are going to unload our bales here if it'll grind them for us. Yep, grinds up their bales for us. So, we just put in. Oh, I didn't even pay attention to how much went in, but. We got like what, seven bales, eight bales? Let's see, does it tell me how much is in here? 45,531 liters of straw. And if we were to have sold it, what, what would we have made? Right now, current price is $62 per thousand liter. No way. That is not worth it. Yeah, we definitely are going to hold on to it. Definitely going to hold on to it. So yeah, that's what we'll do with our straw. We'll just hold on to it until we need either a nest egg of money to sit on or until we start livestock. And I don't think we bother with silage any other way, but bales too, because those are easy to to do. So now we just need to do another field up. So what can we plant in this field now? Right now we can only plant olives, which we are not going to, but next month we could plant canola. But we won't get any straw off of that field. So we could do wheat again, we could do barley, mm, soybeans, I missed the ba I missed the bandwagon on 
potatoes, I can't do it. Really, there's like nothing you could do in the next two months except for wheat and barley. So, this, I guess it'll just be continue to be our wheat or barley field. Um, canola has a nice overlap, though. That's one of the things I like about canola is that if I planted canola next month, I can harvest canola the same month next year. Plant and harvest all in the same month. Maybe we'll do that. Have some versatility in our options. Um, so now the question becomes, do we do oilseed radish though in the meantime? Because oilseed radish uh, I could do now. I'll be ready next month. Yeah, we do oilseed radish. and It'll give us a fertilizer state. So now we get a, a fertilizer state. That needs rolling. No lime needed, but it just needs rolling. All right, so that's, that's what you're going to be doing. If you do that, we don't need you for anything. So we can put you back. Harvester. Just can, I guess it could stay there. This doesn't need to be limed or anything, so that's fine. I am stuck in my tractor. There we go. Can't climb out or logs we don't need at this moment. Um All right, so I guess we have another tractor we could plow up another field while this is seeding. Let's do that. Where do we want to do this? Because that's a nice large open grass field that we just did. I guess we could just do another field. I want to use this area here for production purposes and things. So I guess we ought to use more of this here. So let's do it all from here. We'll get another field in right next to it. It doesn't need to be next to the rock necessarily, but close to it. Okay, we are pushing the plow. Could we just avoid the rock? So what we'll do, guys, is we will um, do this plowing in a time lapse, and then after that we'll probably be done with this episode, because all we're going to be doing after that would be likely to, because that's going to be seeded, we're going to 
probably have to lime this field. We're going to prep this field for um, for wheat. Because we just did canola on that field. Oh, wheat on that field. So we're going to do canola on that field now. Since the canola is going to be next month. And we're going to prep this one for oilseed radish too, probably. And once we're done with that then we will move on to either doing this one with also canola or we'll hold off and do this with wheat so we always have that straw swath situation happening because I'd like to keep straw going in the long run. I don't want to give up on it just because it's not the season right now to plant wheat or straw bearing options. So that's what we'll do and we'll check in um, next episode when we have um, another harvest together. Um, we might also do in the off season harvest some more grass while we're at it um, and get another truckload of that um, silaged up because obviously while we're plowing this field we're uh, and in prepping this field we're gonna have to wait and in the meantime while we wait we could do silage um, and silage is a great way to make money as we saw we made 15 grand with a, a trailer partially done so why not so, all right, everybody, we'll do a time lapse here, and actually, we'd rather do a time lapse. We'll just end it here, and we'll, you guys will see where I'm at in the future episode. All right, guys, thanks for checking in. It's been great. It's Chuck Thunder. Take it easy.